playthrough is sponsored by Game Toppers. Game Toppers are perfect if you want to deluxify the most important things in your life, like board games. Obviously, you were all thinking about board games. Hello, fellow gamers. I'm Glory Hound, and this is Dr. Glory Hog, and welcome to Board Game Battle. Today, we're going to be playing. The Umbrella Academy. I know, I totally said your name, Dr. Glory Hog. Sorry. You said my name, so now I'm like. I took I took I'm, your power away from you. It's true. I can no longer talk the rest of the show. <laughs> Lucky for you. And hello to our chat. It looks like we have Nosferatu and Battle Cry in chat and Eric. Eric? Like Hopefully. A, Eric. With a hard H. Eric. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but I do know how to say Chavez, so we're going to call you Chavez. Welcome to chat today. So this is for one to six players. It should last about 20 to 40 minutes. And this is by Studio 71. Of course, licensed from Dark Horse. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Licensed from Dark Horse. The different characters, you get to play all the different characters. Well, Studio 71 are the ones who did like Tapeworm, The Binding of Isaac. Oh. Um, so, yeah, they definitely are running along those types of IPs. So interesting IPs. Definitely not like stuff you would think of. I mean, obviously this is a Netflix property, right? So Eric. now everybody knows about it now, but. Oh, and hello, Nathan and Dexter. How are you What's doing? Up, Dexter? <laughs> so I imagine we have plenty of Umbrella Academy fans in here watching us today. So I want to know everybody's favorite. Okay, so we got Klaus. Lots of Klaus. Everybody loves so Klaus. I, I want to know everyone's favorite. And then were you introduced through the graphic novels or through Netflix? Because I personally, of being introduced through Netflix, but then I'm going to go hit up the graphic novels. It's always interesting to see how people approach it, like how they got to it first. Right? Yeah, I think that, you know, you usually end up getting like a cult following from the graphic novels. And then once yeah. it gets to Netflix, you get like a whole other like second fandom about it. You like, know, I don't know if you guys do this, but after the X-Men cartoon show, they actually made an X-Men comic. Crazy. Whatever. I, uh, <laughs> That's such a lie. I guess Hello, it must Kabuki. have done well. I don't know. So... <laughs> Battle Cry says, love the Netflix show. Yeah, we watched it whenever it first came out. And then we season just, two dropped. We watched it. Ooh, number five. Oh, plenty of number five in there, too. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> My favorite is Vanya. I really like Vanya a lot. but That makes sense. I could see you being kind of moody and playing violin. Wow, Dr. Glory. Ooh, called <laughs> wow. out. I think, so I actually have some questions. So one, if you're not super familiar with the Umbrella Academy, essentially it's, Modern, it's today, essentially, but with people that have powers, right? There's all these kids that were born all on the same date. None of the mothers were pregnant that day. All of a sudden, they're bam, pregnant and having a baby. Same day, which, I mean, that's really good service, for one. I'm just saying, you guys <laughs> skip all the, all, the, all, the, all the hard parts, right? All I, the extra eating. I assume, yeah. All of the craziness. So just, just done, right? Super easy. Um, and essentially, this all this art and everything, and, and most of this inspiration is coming from, of course, from Dark Horse Comics, from the actual graphic novels. And we are playing as, well, who are you playing as? Your two characters. I'm playing as The Rumor and Vanya. Okay, and I'm playing as number five and Seance, which I believe is Klaus. I mean, he talks to the dead. And uh, I guess my question is, is what's Space Boy's power? I don't know what Space Boy's power is. Now, I know you said he's strong, but he seems to get beat up a lot. He's not Hulk strong. And then, then he becomes stork delivery. And then he becomes like like part like a chimpanzee later, but that's not part of his superpower. What was his superpower originally? I feel like he needs to have more. Mysterious. I don't know. Maybe it's it more too... in the comic. Sorry, I'm like reading co through comments here. I got into yeah. Umbrella Ca Academy because of Gerard Way from my Chemical Romance. Oh, that's an interesting way to get into that. Okay, then been following the comics since they started coming out. Read, I read the free comic book day promo and was hooked. There That's a go. good way of doing it. Free comic book day is fantastic. It is. Okay. So I agree. So we're playing as, I think, as some of the really interesting characters. So The Rumor, Vanya, Number 5, and Seance. As, as a note, we are playing with a prototype quality yes. game. Okay, so rules are not final in this. Art is not final. Cards are not final in this. Okay. I think it's This is a close. prototype version. And like I, like I have to kind of say, right? This is not a how to play. Rules can definitely change, especially since we are playing with a prototype. And uh, if you want to know more about the rules, check out the Kickstarter, of course. But this isn't a how to play. This is, should you play? Would you right. want to play this? Right. And this is 100% a beer and pretzels game. This game would be great. You could play this while rewatching season one or rewatching season two, getting prepped for season three. It's 100% like a super easy to get into game. So Nathan is saying it's strength and invulnerability. 
which okay. is kind of what I was saying. I was saying he strength seems like for he gets, sure. I, I guess I always associate strength with like not getting knocked out, and he. I feel like he gets kind of knocked around a little bit. I'm just saying. But I guess that makes sense, because he does get hit by, like, a big old rocket in the back at one point. Everybody so. eventually gets knocked out. I mean, like, if you get, Hulk yeah, if you get shot with, like, a rocket, Hulk never like, gets knocked out. No, Hulk gets knocked Hulk out. Hulk falls down, <laughs> he, like, gives himself a little scritch. That's He's what like, the Hulk buster's for. So, I'm going to go ahead and pass this to you oh so you gosh. can be first. That's threatening. Well, I'll start here, so that way then it goes around. So, we decided to play as four characters for a reason. So you could see more of their abilities. Otherwise, kind of that's where otherwise all we're the... just playing the two, and then you don't get to see as many abilities. Yeah, so we're playing as four. So we're just gonna go just directly in order. So essentially, what happens is first thing we find out who we're fighting against. We are fighting against Mother, and Mother's gonna have nine attack cards. We're gonna find out what this dysfunctional family card is. So this is kind of like your event that happens at the beginning of every round. Let's see what we got here. We got Desperation minus one to all hero attacks. So that's a good way to start. Where we just automatically We're all start desperate. off. Yeah. I think everyone's been desperate before, right? Oh, Nathan says, I feel like their powers have been dialed down for the show. That's interesting. I'm really interested in reading the comic now. I feel like that's a good thing if they plan on expanding them later, right? Like, because Klaus seems like he gets more powerful as time goes on. So maybe that was by design, right? Oh my gosh, I went to move this final battle. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven, nine cards is a eight, lot. Nine. Yeah, this is one of the bigger ones, I think, Mother. We're going to have to, like, Roll this way out over here. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll pretend like all that was exactly in order. So what we're going to do is we each have five cards. Each character does. We're going to go one by one and we're going to play an attack card or the ability against every one of these. So every single card has either an attack ability, um, has a heal ability, and some of them will have a story ability, which actually is kind of like a world kind of event, if you will. So we'll start off, I guess, with Seance. And Seance's special ability, of course, is Talk to the Dead, which is pick a card from the discard uh, pile to use immediately. So to start off with... Ooh, I like their life totals right here, how this goes up and down for their life here to keep track of it. That's a super genius and easy way to keep track of life here. <laughs> so since the first one is Pogo, and if you can take a look, Pogo's got 8 attack, but there's no damage. So Pogo's not going to do damage to us, I believe, if we don't actually fight him. Instead, we can actually use him to restore a hero to full life. Obviously not the best thing first round because we are all full life. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to give this to you. You can put on either character if you want. And so I'm going to go ahead and lose a life, but then give you three life. So Seance is going to actually go down life because Klaus seems like he would totally do that. I'm going to give the end. rumor Klaus would not extra life. I don't know. Klaus has actually pulled out in the end. He's done some, he's done some good things for the team. So extended my life total. Yep, exactly. So that was my first one. So it's your turn. Rumor. All right. I'm going to, let's see. I have to get over a 10, which is not good. I don't think I have anything that's going to give me over a 10 in Just here. Just do the best you can. Mm. I mean, this one would be better to use later. Oh, gosh. This is not good. I'm going to use all my cards. Yeah. That's how this <laughs> works. So with oh. nine, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna each play two or three cards. This is not gonna be good. Okay, so I will play this one here. That makes sense that they're dialed back, so they don't seem as ridiculous. It's good to know that he's invulnerable, because I was very confused how being part chimpanzee was gonna make it so he could take a rocket to the back. But I, I don't want any spoilers. We're only like four episodes into season two. All right, so I put one down for I'll the rumor. I'll try if you spoil something. I'm gonna put one down right here for Banya, and then it is your turn. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and number five. What do I have to be? I have to beat a seven attack. Um, I've got one that can beat a seven attack. Now, with the rumor special ability, after we go through and distribute all the cards, then we can use our special abilities. And the rumor has, tell one villain to die. For Vanya, she says, I'm not like the others, and I can remove four villain attacks, but I deal two damage to one hero. So I really like the fact that you're able to get things off the board, but you're also still having to really, really hardcore manage your, your life in this. It looks a bit like Marvel's Legendary Encounter. I think a little bit, but there's definitely, I think with the Legendary Encounters, there's more text, like different things you can do on the board. With this one, I'm going to say, I could either do the 8 attack, or I could use it to a family reunion, restores a hero to full life. I'm going to use it for the attack, though. Oh, I guess it's Klaus's turn, huh? I guess I can just go ahead and look at that. So what's next? 10 attack. Two damage. I'm going to go ahead and use... That's nine attack, two damage. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at my card. I'm going to do that one. Oh, you had a ten in your hand? Uh, uh, uh. It's your turn. Oh, Rumor. 
let's see here. We still have, wow, we still have that a lot more to go. That's still four more. So I'm going to go ahead and let me use this one. <gasps> Dumbledore dies. Oh, no. What? <laughs> 506. Why would you do that, Nosferatu? You no know, spoiler. <laughs> uh, Banya. She is not like the others. So rumor, of course, is cool because her special abilities, you just tell a villain to die. Right, but anytime we use our special powers, we actually lose a health. So that's very, very relevant. And then Vanya can basically like wipe out a big chunk of people, but then you flip her card over and you can't use her the next round. So it's give and take, but we got quite a few monsters or quite a few villains to go through. We do. I am going to go ahead and attack with number five. And Seance is going to go ahead and, oh my gosh, uh, wow, I, we have a bunch of these family reunion ones. I hope those That's aren't needed later. That's going to be uh, upsetting later, whenever we actually need, <laughs> need to get those to get the full health, yeah, right? Yeah, we need help. All right, so we go down and we basically resolve them and see who, which ones we've beaten. So this one didn't get beaten, so it stays. This one did get beaten. So discard, discard. Uh, we beat this one. Discard, discard. This one we beat. So it's not bad, actually. We're doing pretty good here. We beat this one. We beat this one. So Kabuki one. Kid says, remember when people were spoiling that the day the book was released? What? How did they just, how did they, like, spoil it so fast? Did they read through the book in one night or something? They take a long night? <laughs> All right, so this is what we have left. So we have basically one last attempt to do something. We can't play other cards unless we have a special card or something that says to do something. Um, and we have to figure out if we want to use any of our hero power. So you could take a health and just kill somebody. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. With you the could. Rumor. Vanya doesn't make sense. I can move two attack cards that are already placed. Doesn't make sense at this point in time. And I could also pull a card from the discard and use it immediately by talking to the dead. I think it just makes sense to just use a rumor. Yeah, though. so I'm going to go down one life in the rumor. And I heard a rumor that this villain was going to die. So this one goes away. Yep, all right. So that one goes away, that one gets discarded, and then now Mother gets put underneath the final battle. And that's round one, right? Now, Pogo restores a hero to full well, life on that one, but only if we defeat it, I believe. Exactly, and so since we didn't, it would just get discarded because there's no damage. If All there right. was anybody left over, we'd have to distribute the damage amongst everybody who's left, Absolutely. Right? All right. So, well, let's see here. I dig the style, it's a lot like the comics. I like it too, I like the art in it. It looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and draw back up. Let's see. I did that to my big brother and then ran to my parents for safety. So mean. So mean, Lot Fang. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I used to do that to my little brother because he'd be a jerk. So I'd have to tell him, I'm like, hey, I know how that ends. And I'd have to like, well, you know, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And they were ruining it for the people at the midnight book sales. What? That's rough. That's so messed up. So me I would be so upset if that was my favorite fandom and that happened. Like, holy cow. So, you know what we completely forgot is we were supposed to minus $1 hero tax. No. We casually did not do that. But it's too late now. We're already past it. Apparently, we were not as desperate as we thought we were. <laughs> we should have. We probably would not have beat all those. But that's okay. That's okay. That's why this is a prototype. It's the prototype's fault, not ours. No, I don't think that's no, how that it works. I totally think that was our fault, Dr. Gloria. I forgot August. about that one. I'll move, it, I'll move it down here so we don't forget it, right? Because it, it being up there is what kind of messed me up. All right. Well, I mean, I just need the card so I can see it like right in front of me. All right, so decide if you want to discard and draw back up to five on any of those. I already did mine. Let's go ahead and flip the next one. So the next one says, family secrets. Any player who talks this turn loses a life bar. So the way That's we are going to be really awkward in chat. So the way we're going to work this is we can still, of course, talk to chat and everything, but we cannot talk to each other or we will lose a life bar. So family secrets. So as soon as we get done putting everything out, I'll go ahead and say go. And we're going to be fighting against zombie robot Gustav Eiffel. Hold on. So are you saying like we're okay until you say go, right? So we can get everything out right now. No, I can get everything out right now. You didn't say go yet. So will this be will this be a retail release or a Kickstarter? So this is on Kickstarter yeah, right and it, now. And it has three different versions. This is like the base one, then there's one with like foil cards, and there's one with a play mat. The big so. reason why we personally wanted to get this out as a playthrough and everything is because they didn't actually have that on their Kickstarter right now. So we were like, well, geez, I bet a lot of people would really like to see how this actually plays through. Because this is a really 
this is a, actually like a family style game or a intro style game where you can play this with pretty much anybody talk hang out you know you're still getting to play the game it goes up to six players which is awesome and enjoy the art and just and enjoy this game with anybody i think you know he he towers above the rest says battle cry wow <laughs> all right so are you ready we're going to go ahead and go so like i said well, you and i cannot talk to each other we can still talk to battle cry and okay stuff, though. so you are going to be first because okay. it's going to start with rumor and ready set go so battle cry if you were glory hound what would you no i'm just kidding <laughs> that seems like i'm cheating so it looks like we've got a 5 attack, 8 attack, 17 attack, 10 attack, 7 attack, 8 attack, 8 attack. And yeah, I said 17 attack. Wow, that is a big thing. Alright. I'm going to be playing this one here, Battle Cry, so because I'm talking directly to oh, our chat don't try today. To be, I'm not trying to be cheaty. Alright, Battle Cry. <laughs> Battle Cry, do not help her cheat. Now, Kabuki Kid... I don't know if you know, but I think I think Kabuki Kid, I could possibly I could possibly take this one out. <laughs> wow. There we go. There we go. See, see how I tied that up, Kabuki? Now, chat, I I mean, you got you gotta you gotta talk to me because I feel so awkward not talking. <laughs> Not talking to somebody else in the room here. All right. I'm going to play, and I'm just reading the card out loud because I know it's not going to be easy. I'm going to actually play this. So out, it's gonna go... out loud to Nosferatu? Yes, to Nosferatu. <laughs> I'm going to play this card um, out. And so it does take this spot, but I'm not using it for its attack. I'm actually going to go ahead and use it for that ability, which I'll resolve whenever it comes up. Ooh, this one says, sibling rivalry, remove one villain attack, but lose one life bar. That's... That's interesting. That is interesting. Now, the way that it goes is you have to exceed the attack value on this in order to win it. If you meet it, it does not win the attack on this. See, I'm going to see who breaks first. Wow. We all know it's Dr. Glory Hog, okay? We all know it's Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and resolve these going here. Oh, this one here. So this one here is being played for the hero boost right here. So this is not resolved. You know, it doesn't resolve the attack, but I'm adding hero boost over here. Which I'm happy I kept that card right there. <laughs> that one was a good one. <laughs> there is a play mat for the game. Absolutely. They have all sorts of extra goodies on here. You're doing sibling rivalry on that. Okay, so maybe let's have Rumor take it. Dr. Glory Hog's going to take it. I know that the campaign is, it was so low-key. The campaign was extra low-key, everyone. And I was like, oh my goodness, why didn't I see this sooner? Because when we originally went over it, we were thinking it was like an RPG that we were looking at, and then all of a sudden we realized it was a card game, and we're like, oh my gosh. All right, this is the only one that did not get resolved here. Now I can use my rumor power, and I heard a rumor that this villain's head exploded and is done. I think your, your turn is over. No? <laughs> oh my god, Dr. Zoo, an unlockable stretch goal. Awesome. <laughs> when do you note that the turn is over, Dr. Gloryhog? I mean, I'm already drawing extra cards. All right, I'm going to get rid of that one. Ooh, all those are bad. And as far as the player counts on these, it the amount of cards that Brutal you... Brutal honesty. It's done now. The amount of cards... I think you're full of it. Add two extra villain attack cards to the lineup. Aww. I think you're full of it. The amount of cards that each person gets in their hand is... It goes up or down versus how many players you're playing with. So when we played with two players, we had seven cards in our hand that we were able to choose from on there.
I'm gonna put these over here. All right, so that's actually not too bad because that's, I mean, it's eight of them still, but it would be a lot worse. And it starts if, off with uh, Vanya. What do we got here? So we got, I like, I like that five over there. I like that five. That's always good. Yeah, it does start with Vanya. There's an eight, there's a Yikes. 10. The Yikes. 10 is the biggest one, I think. Okay. So I'm gonna add this one here for Vanya. And we're gonna use this as the boost ability here. Yeah, no, they're definitely big fans of the book because they're basing it off of the book more so than the show, for sure. But that happens a lot, right? Like the Game of Thrones book was different by a lot compared to it's your turn, Dr. the Boy, show huh? itself. All right, I guess so, number five's turn. Don't tell him how to run his turns. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this Kraken attacking because that is the Kraken's card. Which I'm sad that the Kraken's not in the show yet. Oh, wait. Duh. The Kraken's been, huh? Yeah. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Got it. You okay there, Dr. Got Gloria? it. Got it. <gasps> okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, let's do this, like that. I hadn't even looked at my rumor cards. I was like, oh, all these are like really good. Oh, that helps. All these are really nice. Yeah, Dr. Turnbull's not too tough. What does Dr. Turnbull's card actually say? It says, I can never beat you. Oh, this is gonna go sideways over here. Let's see here. You know who else goes sideways? Crabs. <laughs> Just saying. Crabs go sideways like this. Wow. I got really weird cards here. Okay, so I think I'm going to give somebody a strength boost, I think, on this one here. So. You're mm, going to give it to. We're going to lose one life here. Okay. But we're going to give se the seance a strength boost. And so this one then has nothing on it. That's primarily because the cards that I had like the crappiest hand of cards right now for Vanya. <laughs> Those are not going to help me out the way I want them to. All right, you got the last one. All right. We're going to do this here. And. At any time, I could always use the bottom heel portion of it instead of putting that on there. Exactly. It'll just be left over. So, All right. What do we got? That stays. This is discarded. That one stays. This one is discarded because we beat that one. That one stays. This one's discarded. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I was going to use the boost for this one here. Okay. So then that one would so go then away. So that one's then. gone, yeah. But those two would stay. But these two are staying. All right, so we've got these two. I would like to pick a card from the discard pile to use it immediately. I want to use Seance's ability to talk to the dead. And I'm going to use that 10 right here to get rid of that one. Okay. And there's no point in time travel. Time travel only really works if we have a whole bunch of like like a low-level cards and a card like bigger than we need and to be. And then I'm going to use the Rumor's power for this one here, which actually gets rid of this life bar. So okay. I've gone through a ton of life. I'm getting a vibe like Cryptozoic's DC Universe game from this. Really? I haven't played that one. Yeah, we haven't played that one. I'm trying to think of the ones that we played from Cryptozoic. Was that the company that That's did the Battle Tiny Wizards? Epic Spell Wars, yeah. Yeah, or Tiny not, Epic no. Spell Wars? <laughs> it's, uh, it's not Tiny Epic Spell Wars. It is Epic Spell Wars though, right? I think so. I think it is Epic Spell Wars. You made a whole new, brand new Tiny Epic game. Tiny Epic Wars. Spell Wars. <laughs> you know what? I think Tiny Epic Spell Wars would actually be a fantastic game because I think it would, it would have to be like Wiz Wars-ish, I think, but like Tiny. That's what I'm thinking. Tiny Epic Spell Wars. What do you guys think? Has anybody ever played Wiz Wars? Because that game is amazing. I'm not going to name any names, but I think I heard somebody got some new rights to that game, and it may be reprinted here oh, soon that'd be cool. in the future. I haven't heard that. Uh, that's because you don't have the insider knowledge that I have, Dr. Glory Hard. It's not like I'm married to you or anything. <laughs> 
I don't discuss insider knowledge with my husband. Okay. <laughs> Random, but sure. I'm going to go ahead and set this one up. So we're now we're fighting the Lincoln Monument. Okay, hold on. I'm going to I think there's unique here. art for every single villain, too, because there's definitely a lot more villains out there. But this is essentially how it's played. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, sorry. I totally, like... And I'll shuffle these up for next time because we're going to be out of them. Threw my stuff out there. Yeah, this is really Wiz just... Wiz Wars gets no love. Kabuki yeah. Kid says, I want to play Wiz Wars. You know what? What is it's it? It's fun. I bought... So my buddy got it, and then I bought him the expansions for it and everything. And uh, so we played it a few times that way. And then I got to the point where I was like, man, I kind of want to have a copy of my own. And then I found out, like, oh, it's out of print, and it's kind of hard to find. Roy, I think... From, you know, the Dice Tower has always talked about making, like, a 3D Wiz Wars, which I think would be amazing. They should totally make, like, a 3D Wiz Wars. Or at least just, like, having the box there that you can, like, sit on the table where it has, like, almost all of the sides except for, like, the underside you could play. That would make that game so free. It would be like 3D chess, right? I saw somebody who did one where they make a, they just take a box and they put, like, magnetic stuff on it and they put magnets on everything. Oh, that makes sense. So the boards have magnets in them. And yeah. And you're able to, or at the least The biggest thing is them. you could have to have, like, the tokens and stuff like that. Like, the board yeah. would have to be fully magnetic. It would be amazing, though, right? Yeah, you'd have to magnetize a lot of stuff. All right, so what we have next <laughs> is Dad hid his feelings. So negative one to all of our attacks on this no. round. Oh. We're starting off with an eight, so I got to get... Wow, so it's basically... I gotta get a 10. Okay. So there's a new video subject. Why you no love these games? For real. I could talk about all sorts of games like that. Absolutely. Oh, Kabuki Kid, will you be there tonight for the final farewell stream? I actually will be part of the Zoom for that. So I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. I think this it's number not... five's turn, right? No, I'm oh, doing you're seance, doing seance right okay. now. I'm gonna actually use this for heal. This is not going so hot. Ah, this is actually not good at all because it's going to be minus one on Yeah, that makes a stuff. big difference. Uh, that's going to be a problem. All because Dad hides his feelings. Dang you, Dad. Why does Dad have to be like this? To be fair, though, yeah. based off what I know from the show, it's probably best he doesn't say his feelings out loud. <laughs> It does not seem exactly loving. We're going to give a plus 10 to something for that one, I think. Nice. We have to, we still have to play hit something, something though. Yeah. <laughs> we still have to hit something, That's though. That's kind of what I was doing, too. I'm like, oh, I'll give pluses to stuff. This might be a really great time to use Vanya's power. <laughs> it might be. Oh, no. Okay, hold Why on. Why does our family have to be so dysfunctional? All right, let's do that, I guess. This is going to be an amazing lineup here. I, I plan on being there, barring disaster. <laughs> this is fine. We're not being like no, any of them. Is, this is going to be fine. It's fine. Um, I can at least do this one. I can actually beat one of them. Ha -ha, I can also beat one of them. Wow. And then, yeah, so this fight, one. the Lincoln Monument fight, is not going very well. It's all because Dad and his dang feelings. That's why men aren't supposed to have feelings. Curses? What do you got? I guess we'll play that one like that. Ooh, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and resolve how we want to do this. So we'll take the ones out that we got first, that we just straight up just won. So it's going to be really hard to find all of them. It's going to be like, you're like, one? The one attack that we won? <laughs> this could be a bad round for us, for sure. Yeah, that was it. It was just those two, I think. So, what do we want to resolve next? We can give two plus tens. Well, there's only two that actually have actual attacks, right? Yeah, so I think those two plus tens will be those. So I'll take that one. I'll take that one. And then you can just destroy one. I guess destroy the 10 makes the most sense, right? To lose a, a health bar to destroy that one? Yeah. No, which, sorry, here you go. Which is similar to using your power. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. Um, and then we still have this one, which I use this one to heal, so that card's actually gone. So we still have three left. What is Vanya I can just do? straight up use Vanya's power, but then I can't use it next turn. Yeah, but how many... I mean, 
It's probably okay, because I think we've got some more time. I mean, she'll flip over. Deal two damage to one hero. Right. I think That's it, the other big thing. Well, it's, I mean, it's Do you want number to five you. to take it, or for the rumor to take it? Whoa, uh, Seance would take it. Seance is still above his pool. Oh, okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to turn Vanya over, and we're going to get rid of all those. All right. So just Vanya, just, you know, being Vanya. Come on, Vanya. Mm -hmm. Vanya, Vanya, Vanya. So I've got three here, so I'm actually just going to move this up. This card should be gone by now. I feel like I had decent cards in my hand, too, but apparently not. That negative one. one makes a big difference. Apparently not. Apparently I had crap in my hand. Apparently, we are going to be fighting Carmichael. I'm a Shugabakin, not an Orkana. Okay, bud. You be you. No judgment. I think I want to keep that card and that one. I'll get rid of that one. I need three more cards, please. Okay, hold on. There you go. And then Uncle we'll... Vanya. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uncle Vanya. Mm -hmm. Uncle Vanya. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to go over here. So we're going to start there. Go and put those back. So we'll attack them. We got nine. Nine cards. Still I can't wait until we get to the, phys the final battle, the apocalyptic battle, because that's where. All of the cards that we've been stacking under the final battle turn over, and they're all like super high-powered attacks. So I'm interested to see how that's going to end up working. So way over there with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we need to. What's figure our out. dysfunctional family? Yeah, because that can make a pretty big issue. difference. Issue. What's our family issue? It is jealousy. Add one extra villain attack card to the lineup. Why did you have to remind me? <laughs> You're making this harder. It's supposed to be a co-op. Right, which side are you on? <gasps> are you on the? Are you on their side? No. The agency side? The commission? What are they called? The commission? I think it is the commission, right? I think so. Isn't that where Chekhov's gun is from? Let's hear. We will finally solve the mystery first established in the initial nightly chat. What was the, what? What was the mystery in the first initial chat? Now I'm confused. Huh. So I've got... This bad boy here, it's going to do a whole lot. Mm, that's not helpful, Dr. Glorhog. It is your turn. Um, Please, call me Seance. So, I think what we're going to do... This extra card to the villain lineup is still not like any easier, really. Not I think I'm going to go down a life, and I'm going to give somebody a life bar. Okay. Who do you want to have a life bar over here? So, Seance, Seance is full... He's down one. I could give Vanya a life bar. Probably should give Vanya a life bar. So give her three. How many does she already have? Oh. Okay. I was going to say, does it make it easy math? So you're skipping that 10, huh? So then it's up to you to do the eight for Vanya. Hopefully. Come on. Gosh, mm. it would be nice if we had Vanya's abilities right now. Uh. <laughs> so this isn't looking too great. All right, your turn, Dr. Glory Hog. Okay, let's see here. I got that one. In Chekhov's play, Uncle Vanya, a handgun appears as a seemingly meaningless prop early on in action. However, its presence on stage becomes more significant late in the drama. Ooh. Your turn for that one. This is still not super great. Okay, we beat that one, which is good. As far as, like, we're not winning a bunch of them? Yeah, yeah. I really feel like we should be winning more of these at this point in time, but that's not a thing that has Nope, happened. it's not happening this time. Okay, so, let's see here. When the character of Uncle Vanya grabs the pistol and tries to murder another character in rage... Ooh, I did not know that. I had no idea. What? Let's see here. I'm going to have to check out Uncle Vanya. Like, I've never even heard of that before. I give you life. I give you life. No, oh, I'm going to need that for this next one for sure. So that was number five that because just did that. Because so. we are, yeah, we're not doing very good this round. Should beat that one. And then you, you see the last one was Rumor. Hmm. Okay, so that one gets cleared. 
This one does not. This one gets cleared. Oh, we left so many out. That one does not. This one does. Uh, you're welcome. I did that one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's a lot. So, yeah. let's see if it makes sense to switch any of these with number five at this point. So, like, what do we have left? We've got a nine, a ten, an eight, a nine, an eight, a nine, and then these are all sixes, eights, and sixes. So, not really. A seven over here. Do we have any? No, we do not have any good attacks down. So, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can definitely use a card from back here. That 10 attack one, I'm probably going to have to have Rumor fight that one, I guess. Oh my gosh, we're going to take so much damage this turn. I'll do 10 attack here with Seons. Okay. So get rid of that one. Yeah, I don't think any of the other ones are going to... I, okay, so I can like... Take one out with rumor. So take out that 10. Yeah, because that, that one's going to deal three damage. But I think that's all we can do, right? Because this one here, you can't move the attack cards around. That's not going to be helpful. Yeah. Banya's out of commission. Yeah, that looks like that's a lot. How much damage is that? Two, Two four, four, six, six eight, 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 ten. ten. So <laughs> this is not good. So take three off of Vanya. Okay. And there's four. So let's take mm. those ones out. Well, hold on, hold on. We got wrecked. Put it back for just a second. So I took one off of there. I can actually still probably move, because it says move any two attack cards already placed. So I can still move two to something you else. You double an attack somewhere? Yeah. So like I can make, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it can still make two of them go away. So that does still save us four for me to take one damage. I was thinking that I had to like do like a straight swap, but I don't. But we're still gonna take six damage. So probably still three off of off of Vanya. And then I got one off of here, so that's four. So we've got two more to kind of come up with. So Well, hold on, no, I can oh yeah, I already did my thing with the rumor. Yeah. So we need to come up with two more. I'm at two health and three health. So I can take one off rumor. And then you're at three health, and I think Broom has to go down again because she's I now so. the most health. All right. Woo! We got through We're going to need some heals. We're going to need some heals real fast. Real fast. Well, the problem is, like, the heals only work so much, right? Because you're still going to be, like, you're leaving a monster up whenever you do, or you're leaving a villain up every time you do that, too. You know, so it's not like it's much better. And Fania gets turned back over. Hazel and Cha-Cha. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm sure that's fine. I love Hazel and Cha-Cha's masks. What a fun, like, little... Like, that. Hazel and Cha-Cha were the best. All right, you ready are for this? Are the best. Hazel and Cha-Cha are the best. I am. Rock bottom. Place this card on another hero. That character cannot use their special power for one turn. I'll let you decide which hero we should put that on to. All right, we'll put it on Vanya. You think so? I'm assuming we're not going to need it. Ooh. Or do you want to put it on five or something? Ooh. I'd put it on five, honestly. Okay, let's put it on five then. But I'm letting you pick. All right, I'm picking five. Well, that seems like a dumb decision. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. What? Eight. There's a 17 out here. Ooh, and a 10. And a 9. That's awkward. Yeah, and uh, you start starting? off. Uh, let me do cards, though. I'm going to keep those two cards. These aren't bad cards, so I'm gonna take two and three. So one, two, three. Draw back up. So any better? Is this any better? Oh that is no, not this any is not better. good at all. This is not good at all. Am I boring everyone with my writing methods? No. <laughs> not at all. I just, you know, the game just got real intense here in this last battle and Lots of dying and life loss. That's all. So I think I'm going to have to use this so one Nosferatu here. So says they switched the mask for Hazel and Cha-Cha in the show. Did anybody else notice that? Ooh. Oh, they, like, used the wrong one for the wrong character? Did they do that? I thought uh, I thought Hazel wore the, like, kind of teddy bear mask, and she wore the one with the droopy ears in the show. And that's what it looks like here, right? Like the droopy dog? Yeah, that's what I thought. But maybe they did switch them at one point in time. Okay, and then... We're gonna do. 
think we're gonna do this. So they probably wear each other's vests just to spice things up, you know? You want to be a partner all the time, you just want to do something a little bit differently. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Okay, 17 attack one. That's probably... I well, think... I'm hoping that that's going to help out. Choctaw wore Hazel's mask and vice versa. I did not know that. Well, then again, though, we haven't read the comics yet. We really want to read the comics. Gosh, that is a thing. So, we'll do a family reunion and restore somebody to full health, I guess. Okay. Ooh, I think I might be able to take out this one. The five attack? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> that one down. <laughs> a seven attack is next. I hope I can take that one out as well. That would be nice. That would be nice. Attack! They use right, as many exclamation marks as you do. So maybe you're a bad guy. Maybe you're a bad guy. I like it. That's not how that song goes. Tough guy. Pretty sure. I'm going to take a damage here. Play a life boost on somebody. The life boost stay on. Oh, this rock bottom was on number five. Rock bottom. Uh, but you have to play that on some. Didn't, didn't did. you get that card from Sam's oh, hand? You're right, I did. Poop. So three. Oh, that's really messed me up. Was I here? That seems very make it make sense. I'll put it on Vanya then. Okay. Because we may need this here really soon. Although, some people are going to get restored to full health. So, let's take out the people we have first. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. To kind of clean it up and make it a little bit easier to see. This one is restored. That one stays. This one, I'm assuming we're using for this? Yep, that one. And this one, so this one here is restore... A hero to full life, and this one is restore a hero to full life. So I think one of them should definitely be five. Maybe one of them should be Seon. Okay, we can do that. I mean, if you want to hear all my characters up, I guess. And then how many villains do we have? Because does Four. it make sense to use Vanya's power again and then have it wait and then refresh? Because I want Vanya's powers to be available for the last battle. It's yes. a big thing. I think we do it because then nobody else takes any damage. And that gets us to where we're doing like more well, health. Well, two damage to one hero. Right, we'll have Vanya take two damage. She still should be up above like everybody else, or is it any? Or does it have to be to another character? It says two damage to one hero. It doesn't specify. Okay, yeah, it makes sense to have her take the two then and just clear it. All right. So we're not taking any more damage, and nobody else is having to use damage to take out all the people. I think we are down oh, to. Oh, Chacha was a man in the comics, but Mary J. Bilge in the show was Blige. epic. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Mary J. Blige. 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 Okay. Blige. Apologies. Was in the show and was epic. I have no idea why the hell she would do this show. She seems yeah, too famous to be in shows like Netflix stuff. Do you Netflix know who that is, is Mary J. Blige? No. She was a big, I mean, she still is a singer, but she was like a big time, like, kind of like R&B type singer. Oh. During like the 90s she and stuff. She was fantastic in the show, like super fantastic. She's like one of my favorite characters in that show. She was so, so good. You would 100% know the music if I played some of it. I know you don't usually keep track of that stuff, but if I played her music, you would be like, oh, I know who that is. And Somebody, I, somebody sing a song. I really, really liked the fact that it was like a male and female combination. They were both like super like badasses in the show and stuff too. I really, really liked that. So I really liked what they did with the Netflix show and Netflix in general is paving all sorts of crazy ways with getting well, just unique huge stuff out. actors, huge yeah. actors on there because Netflix is just getting big. I mean, so that's big. all anybody watches anymore, right? Like, why are you going to go watch regular TV? They have a decent budget to do all sorts of really fantastic stuff with. All right, so this is brothers fighting is what we have. So if one hero has to lose two life bars, I'm going to say that these two fighting, so I'm going to have number five get kind of smacked around a little bit. Actually, okay. you know what? No, number five would beat the crap out of Seance. The Seance is going to lose, too. <laughs> Let's be real. Number five was, you want to talk about a, a BA. Number An five, angry child. Yeah, he's like Nightcrawler with like a caffeine addiction, right? I was actually thinking about it the other day. I was like, wait a minute. So, like, technically, Space Boy is kind of like Beast. Number five is kind of like Nightcrawler. 
I mean, I can keep going with all these if you want. Oh my God. Of course. Oh my God. Rumor, rumor and Von are both kind of like the Phoenix, right? Because they have like telekinesis y type powers, you know? Like the ultimate power of the Phoenix. So we have the murder bot and then one other character and then the final battle. No, murder bot's it. And then we go into the apocalypse. Okay, into the apocalypse after that. Okay, so. I'm going to keep those three for fun. I want people want to be involved in anything superhero y because you know what? Yeah. In general, we want to be saved right now, and that's why superheroes are so hero. popular. That is that is a fact. That's how it works. Superheroes and superhero shows get more popular. So hot right with now. With the worse that things are doing in your outside surroundings. So is Vanya playing first now? Yes. Okay. So we only have six. That's not so bad. That's actually a good one to end on because a lot of them are weaker too. Six, seven, ten, seven, eight. We needed eight. this. We needed this so bad. <laughs> My turn? That was Vanya. Oh, no. Number five. Number five. Calm down, number five. Number five. All right, let's use this one to go there. Beat that one. I don't think I can beat that ten. So I'll just give it kind of like a, a decent, like one that's almost mostly all of it. Okay. Let me play that one there. I'm getting excited because we're getting towards the end. And I'm excited to see what all happens here. Whoops. <laughs> All right. So to clear, we clear, clear. All right. So we go here. We go here. That one doesn't clear. Oh, okay. So clears. Jude, who this wrote the comic, says he was heavily influenced by his favorite 80s and 90s comics. There's a touch of Fantastic Four and X-Men in there for sure. That makes complete sense then. Absolutely. Uh, no, I called it. Okay. Nobody else has seen that connection. You can feel free to tweet about it. Put it on Reddit how I'm so brilliant. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm probably not the first person to realize that. So what we have here is a failure to communicate. I'm going to use Seance and just take the biggest one out. And then, what would you like to do? do you and want then to... I'll use the rumor for that one. Okay. Well, what's the rumor? What are you saying? I heard a rumor. You walked off the top of a building. Oh, my God. <laughs> so sad. All right, so that's it. We beat the murder bot, which is, I mean, I've always wanted to be a murder bot. And this is the final battle. We need to draw back up to our cars. Yeah. Flip Vanya back over. I think I'm missing like it's the apocalypse. We don't have. We need a refresh of the cards in order to. Oh yeah. Right, right, right. I started like just randomly dealing myself one from the bottom. Winnie the hero. So in the final battle here, you, you take all mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. sinister characters that you've battled before, and you get to turn them over, and then they're like super powered at this point. So. Oh, I heard a rumor. <laughs> they say you got your, oh, you got your heart broken. Ah. That is the saddest way ever to take out a villain. I don't know if I could do, I could not be that heartless kabuki kid. <laughs> do you need more cards? That's terrible. Yes, I do. I need two over here and I need two over here. There we go. I somehow shuffled just one of them up. That so happens. All right, let's take a look. And these final this. cards were not helpful. Okay, well, rude, for one. These are not helpful at all. <laughs> let's see here. Do they reference their team names in the show? Not that far in the second season. I don't think so. No, because they're still... So far, not really. Yeah, I don't think so. So these ones are all like 14 attack, 16 attack, 15 attack, 14 attack. 13 attack, 17 attack, and 14 attack. So could be better. Let's start off with number Ooh. five. So we're not going to be able to beat any of these with just like one card. Right? So it's like I'll have number five put eight there. Okay. I will have Klaus. 16, huh? I guess he does not have something that will do 16. He does not. I'll put a nine there, though, which will make that one pretty doable for next round when we're dead. <laughs> okay, what do you got? I heard a rumor that your card sucks. Oh, this is... Redox. See, if you really wanted to impa incapacitate a villain, you just say, I heard a rumor that you love World of Warcraft. And then they would start playing World of Warcraft, and they'd forget about everything else, and that would just be it. I heard a rumor, and they're done. All right, we're going to do that one on there. 
but you can make them financially broke. Being, I heard a rumor you love Kickstarter, and then they just spend all their money and they're broke. They can't fight anymore because they can't afford bullets. We're gonna do some of this here for that power. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, I don't have anything else that cool, but sure. There's an eight there, and uh, for seventeen, I definitely have something for that seventeen. I don't, but I have a nine. And we're gonna do that for that power. All right, so we don't beat it. Definitely don't beat it. Don't beat it. Don't beat it. And also don't beat it. So first off, do we want to? I'm gonna add this boost to one of these. So four damage, Which one's four the damage, worst? Four damage, four damage. Any They're other ones? All is four damage. damage. So just after the one of the biggest ones, I guess. So say this one. So that one we have successfully beaten mother again, and then. So did you, okay, so you did that. Uh, which one did you want to kill with this one? Do you want to just do the one it's on? Since yeah, it's, let's just do the one it's on. So take a health bar, lose a health bar to your character, whichever character that was. That was Vanya. No, Vanya, no. There we go. Okay. What does Vanya have two health? I can do a card swap. I can talk to the dead. We did a card well, swap. Well, I can tell one of them to die, just first off. Well, let me do this, though. Let me do a card swap, right? Okay. I mean, they're all going to be bad. So that would do a card swap there. And we could do a card swap there. So he would go down one because he'd do some time travel, which would take these two out. This is like the, like, oh my gosh. I can use Seon's. Log stream to go play Warcraft must be a new X-Pack. Wow, wow. So I, I cannot <laughs> use Seance. I think. I loved Bananarama. Like, they had fantastic music. I watched them, or I listened to them a ton when I was a kid. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I think we played it out right because we still have Vanya, because I can't use Seance, because nobody has a card on them. So, me so somebody would have to card. take two damage. Well, I mean, I guess technically I could do, watch this. Let's make this all super dramatic. I will use Seance. He'll go down to one. And Seance will bring a card back from the... I thought he already brought a card back. No. No, he did not. Oh, anyway, okay, I can't okay. do that. I was going to bring a card back, the one that says destroy somebody, but lose a health, but that would knock him out for that. All so right, we're going to use that. Vanya's power here. Destroy So, four. yeah, just destroy these ones, and then somebody's going to have to go down to. I'm going to pick number five. I vote for wow. number five, because number five is a jerk, okay? He is kind of a jerk. <laughs> but thanks to number five, we stop the apocalypse. Well, thank you, number five. That was good. <laughs> Dolores! No! So, let's see, are, are there any cards that we didn't kind of show everyone? Well, those are all those cards. There's, I mean, there's a ton of villain cards. I mean, we only saw seven of them, right? Just as far as, like, I want to... Oh, Ooh. so, if you want Art's wanted... very colorful. I really like the color So, cards. there's also the horror, which is adds to... Well, go ahead and read what the horror does. There's Space Boy, which is double shot, double the hit on any card. The Kraken hits twice, play two cards against a villain. This is add two lives to any hero or one life to each two heroes, which is very nice. And then, of course, there's just a bazillion bad guys. Like a whole That's a lot of, them. of bad guys. So you're going to have a lot of variance in how this is going to play. I want the exact game themed with Doctor Who. <gasps> oh, that would be a fantastic I want a Doctor Who themed game too. So bad. There's already there's already the there's already Doctor Who Yahtzee where it has a TARDIS. That's not you, oh, that's, that's not, not that thing. doesn't count. That doesn't count I think everyone. It does we count. don't want Doctor I don't want to play Doctor Who Yahtzee at all. Like that's not on my list of but top the dice 10 games. All, <laughs> that's all, all I have to say. But the <laughs> dice are all tiny wimey. You would never know what's going on with them. No. That's how that no. would work. No. All right, everyone. I hope everybody enjoyed this playthrough if you are new to our channel make sure to like and subscribe to our content we do playthroughs every sunday and thursday and we talk about kickstarters every friday so if you don't subscribe you're hopeless if you are interested in this game did we leave the the link in the description for uh, this who knows? Uh, well, we, this we will like... update the description and put the link for this game in the description if for I all of you probably did <laughs> If not, it's the only the Umbrella Academy. It game is on Kickstarter, on Kickstarter right now. Kickstarter. So if you enjoyed it or you want to see all the cool play maps and other cool stuff that they offer in the Kickstarter, make sure to check that out. With Doctor those Who shiny Flux. Cards. Oh yeah, that's right. They did do Doctor Who Flux. I completely forgot about that. I, it's wow. been a long time since I've played Flux. Doctor Who never forgot about you. And what is it? Lunacy. I really, really like Lunacy from them. What? 
I heard a rumor you will subscribe. <laughs> You're supposed to say it all dramatic. I figured you'd say it all dramatic. I heard a rumor you subscribe. <laughs> I heard a rumor you'd subscribe. <laughs> I like that. Nosferatu, you're killing it. That's awesome. That was fantastic. Well, dude, you know what? Why isn't Nosferatu on the show right now? I'll quit if you want. <laughs> I've got a lot of video games to catch up on. Hello, Steve Parr Smith. How are you doing today? Welcome to our chat. So, I think I think that was all. I think we covered all of it. Oh, we have our dice tower. We're, I'm gonna do the dice tower get together thing later tonight. And anything Which is that else? Like what? Is that like six it's p.m. Nine Pacific or something? Yeah, yeah it's nine o'clock Eastern time. Or six o'clock Pacific. That's right. Specific Pacific. Specific Pacific. And I think that's about it. Do we have any fun things lined up for this next week? Dr. We're gonna Boy play Hall? Last Light with some no name designer named Roy. Uh, I mean, just After it's the just dice tower Roy's thing. game. I mean, we're just gonna be playing that. It's probably totally not gonna fine. be good. He only likes it's trash games. It's gonna be like a Gray Fox game, like a 4X game in space and stuff. I mean, I don't even like those games Oh, never games mind. If anything. there's no Westerns, I mean... I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what we're going to play next. I know there's a lot of games coming in. Like, I've heard... Well, I was going to say I heard a rumor. <laughs> I, heard I heard a rumor. rumor we were getting Windward soon. Yeah, Windward should be coming in soon. We'll see. But we'll have to take a look and see what's coming out next when other Kickstarters get delivered. That's right. I think uh, we have Techlandia as well. We do have Techlandia. Yeah, so we got some good stuff planned for all of you. Other sure. than that, we will see all of you later in the week. Bye. Bye.